Hello everyone, we are the group 8 and this is the lesson 17 and 18 about the conceptual and installation art. Conceptual art Conceptual art arises in the mid-1960s is an art that prioritizes ideas, also known as post-object art or art as idea. It is manipulated by the tool of language and sometimes documented by the photography. The Get Lane in 2010 further revealed that it allows it artists to surrender their control, open art up to chance and involve other people. In 1914, French artist Marcel Duchamp breaking the primacy of the perceptual in art, which logically extended to the one of the most influential movements of the late 20th century known as conceptual art. The conceptual art case strategies are dematerialization of art object and privileging of language-based art, coupled with disrupting the usual moods of thinking about art and undermining status quo and social and political order in art. The following are the examples of conceptual art and its artists. This is the Marcel Dodgeon Fountain in 1917 to 1964. This work is a replica of porcelain urinal, which originally purchased by the artist in 1917 from the New York. Through the work, the Dojo first defined the concept of the ready-made or found object. Another one is the Seoul Lewitt's Red Square, White Letters in 1962. In 1960s, Seoul Lewitt felt that color distracted from the idea of art by drawing attention to art mere physical properties. So, he subverts that tendency by placing the names of the colors of the piece. Another one is the Joseph Kosut, One and Three Chairs, in 1965. In 1945, Joseph Kosut present a photograph of a chair, a physical chair, and a dictionary definition of a chair, and asked, which is the real chair? The physical chair could be considered a reproduction of the definition as is the photograph a reproduction of the physical chair. Another one is the Ewa Fartum's Active Poetry in 1971. This one is also the example of conceptual art. The Joseph Bay's I Like America and America Likes Me, an anti-Vietnam war stance in 1974. Another one is the Janice Kaunless and talented work found objects in 1969. Another one is the Kate Arnott's self burial television interference projects in 1969. In 1972, Gilbert and George a portrait of the artist as young men, the film and video. Another one is the Roll Loops, Soul City, the Pyramid of Oranges, in 1967. In 1967, Soul City, Pyramid of Oranges. Roll, Loose Stack, 5,800 oranges in a pyramid in the London Arts Lab. A hotbed for countercultural hangs. Over a fortnight, the work gradually shrunk as visitors were encouraged to consume the fruit. As Lou put it, by taking an orange, each person changes the molecular form of a sack of oranges and participates in consuming its presence, where the full implications of the action are left to the imagination. What he done was pass control from artist to viewer, a radical step. Another one is the Bruce Macklin's post, Work for Plains Tree, in 1971. The last example of conceptual art is the Margaret Harrison's Home Workers in 1977. What the work of art looks like isn't too important. It has to look like something if it has physical form. No matter what form it may finally have, it must begin with an idea. It is the process with conception and realization with which the artist is concerned. In 1967, Soul Lewitt. The Installation Art The installation art emerged in 1970s, dominated in the later part of the space involved objects set up and configured in space. 
Kelly in 2010, Installation Art acquired its influences from a number of avant-grade movements which include the minimalism, environmental art, conceptual art, and performance art. It is more manufacturing and displaying of art which varies from miniature to huge painting, sculpture, with made found object, and drawings or text. Viewers of an installation art are given different experiences compared to the traditional painting or sculpture since they are allowed to enter and move around and configure space and or interact with some elements which engages the sense of the viewers. The following are the artists and art. The first installation art, the Yayos Kusama's Endless Love, show in 1966, hexagonal space lined with mirrors. Installed as part of the exhibition, Kusama's Peep Show or Endless Love Show, this hexagonal space was lined with mirrors while the floor was crowded with pulsing red, blue, white, and green lights. Two small windows permitted viewers to peer inside. The installation exhibits the signature polka dots in the form of round lights bulbs and the sense of infinite, repetitive immersion and unbound space that have continued to characterize Kusama's art for over 50 years. This is the art of Presto and James Claudes, the font new wharf in Far East, sculptural use of fabrics on the grand scale. Partners in both art and life, Cristo and Jean Claude became world famous for their sculptural use of fabrics on a grand scale. Shown here is a work they created by wrapping one of the great landmarks of Paris, the, po the point youth in woven nylon, secured by rope. The temporary transformation of the bridge into a work of art was an exciting new way of creating sculpture by covering it in fabric. The artists draw people's attention to the sculptural details of the bridge, while also creating a majestic and mysterious object of beauty. It also serves to emphasize the importance of preserving such historical monuments. The work encourages us to look at objects in a new and different way. Sister Martin Keeping Birds, The Happy Ending of Franz Kafka's America Play for Environment for conducting interviews in 1994. An ethnic assortment of desks, tables, and chairs has been set out in a gallery to create a playful environment for conducting interviews. Alongside conventional office furniture, the artist has included beach chairs and raised lifeguard platforms. The large installation proposes a setting for a happy conclusion to Franz Kafka's unfinished and posthumously published novel America, a book that the artist claimed he had never read. In 1997, Kara Walker's Slavery, Slavery. The paper cutouts have a cartoon-like prettiness of first glance until a closer look reveals a hellish word of sex, slavery, and sadism under a crescent moon and dripping Spanish moss. Racism dominates worker, workers' work, and she draws inspiration from historical fiction, actual slave or narratives, minstrel shows, and other artists such as Adrian Piper. The complete title of this work is Slavery, slavery presenting a grand and lifelike panoramic journey into the picture's key south. Slavery of life at O.I. Vir Virginis Hall, sketches from the plantation life, see the peculiar institution as never before. All cut from black people by the able hand of Cara Elizabeth Worker, an emancipated negris and leather of her coast. This one is the art of Cornelia Parker's The Cold Dark Matter, an exploded view in 1991. These art are formed with wood, 
metal, plastic, ceramic, paper, textile, and wire. The last one is a Damien Hirst Pharmacy away from the flock, unicorn suspended in formal dehyde.